Hey there guys, Mike here again. Thanks for clicking this video. Welcome to my shop. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own tube amp transformer covers, something similar to this. So some people might say, why would you want to use a transformer cover like this? Well, I think there's basically three reasons why you would. One, aesthetics. Now I'm building this 6L6 amp here and I'm using Hammond output transformers. And some might think that they're not aesthetically pleasing, you know, basically ugly. And if you have a transformer cover like this, it really spices up the look of your amplifier, especially if you have it on out on display like many of us do. So another reason would be if you had a transformer with open leads similar to this transformer here. So this is a 300B output transformer made by MagnaQuest and it's pretty much meant to be mounted underneath the chassis but I'm limited for space so I'm going to mount it on top. Now the top of this transformer would have raw B plus and that's pretty unsafe uh, ultimately lethal um, from prying hands so if I have a cover like this, it protects the leads and we're all good there. Third reason would be for shielding. This is made out of wood, so you could buy some shielding paint to line the inside of this out, or you could use that copper tape, similar to like a, a guitar pickups people would use, or you could actually buy ones made out of iron that have shielding properties built into it. But since I'm a DIYer and this is but my whole channel, I'm gonna show you how to build these covers uh, two ways. I'm gonna show you how to build a rudimentary uh, metal way and of course this wood way like this. So this is my 6L6 amp that I'm currently building and I'll have a build video on this as well so please like and subscribe so you can see how that all comes together. And this is my 6SN7 preamp build. Um, I do have a video on this as well so please have a look and you can see how that all comes together. Um, on the power supply section I put a coil or a choke and in the video you can see that I also put a cover on that too to kind of make it more aesthetically pleasing. So this is an easy way to make a transformer cover is just get a piece of square tubing. You can either get it steel or aluminum. This is aluminum, two and a half inches wide, and this is perfect for that uh, coil that I use for my 6SM preamp. Uh, you get a piece of aluminum as well, and you could just trim it to fit perfectly in that slot there. And you don't need a welder. You could use something like JB Weld here to kind of weld it all into place, or you could go with a piece of wood and make it fit in there like that. So I'll show you how that works. Now I realize that some of you don't have a table saw, but if you do, it's pretty simple. I just use this tubing there and I adjust the size for the, the cut. So it nicely touches and then we'll run this through. And now we'll lower the blade and we'll cut the notch for it re to recess in. So this piece of wood's all cut up and it fits snugly. What I do now is use the JB weld and put that all into place and clamp it up and let it cure. And then I'd go ahead and sand all the corners nice and smooth and give it a shot of paint. And with the metal here, uh, cut it all to trim to fit nicely. And what I do is I'd bevel all four corners and then I can do a press fit in there. And you probably wouldn't even need any JB weld, but I'd probably put some just in case. And once that's all set up, you can paint that as well. And to fasten this to the top plate, I would just go get some aluminum angle here. So this is half an inch by half an inch by eighth of an inch thick. And I just cut a piece off there, put in there, and I would just drill and tap it. And then you could drill and tap this side and use some machine screws to fasten it down. So now that it's all tapped up, we'll go ahead and we'll mark and we'll drill the holes for these brackets. So this is a pretty tight fit. So what I'll do is I'll use this vise as a, like a press tool to press this into place. And there you go. So what we can do is just polish this nice and smooth and give it a shot of paint and there's your nice transformer cover. So what I got here is some 600 grit wet dry paper or emery cloth. Something fine doesn't give too many scratches. So 
So I recently found this uh, new spray paint uh, by Bear. I got it at Home Depot and it's a paint and primer and a satin finish. Uh, goes on really good and I find with satin um, it hides a little bit, but the blemish is a little bit better than uh, gloss or semi-gloss. So making the first metal one is pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple to do. Uh, you can even get the metal store to cut all the metal pieces for you and all you have to do is assemble them. The issue with that is you're, you're kind of stuck with the nominal sizes. And with the wood ones here, you can actually do your own custom sizes for the fraction of the cost and you can actually mold these to whatever shape and size that you actually need to fit your transformers or on your amplifier. So let's go ahead and duplicate this one so I have a matching set. So the wood we're gonna be using is half an inch Baltic birch plywood. And I like Baltic Birch plywood because all the wafers here are made out of hardwood, so there's no voids in the middle and it machines really well. If you go with cheaper plywood, uh, they'll have voids and they'll get some tear out and you'll have some really mixed results. So you could probably get by with 3 8 but I wouldn't go more than half an inch. You could also go with some maple. So this is hard maple, half an inch as well, and I just picked this up at Home Depot. And this will works just as well and machines really good. Uh, the only issue is it's a little bit more expensive than just normal plywood. You want to make sure that the factory edge is cut off and nice and flat. Never assume that a factory edge is perpendicular with the rest of the wood or is nicely cut. So cut off the factory edge and then do the rest of your cuts. I'm going to make sure that all my grain is oriented the same way so that makes for a better appearance. A glue up and when you router the corners you have less chip out. So the sanding is all done. It looks pretty crisp with nice straight edges. You could go to paint right now if you wanted to. I'm going to use my router and put a little bit of a round over. I have a 3 8 round over bit there I'm going to use. If you want something a little bit more pronounced, you could go with a half an inch one like this. Or if you want something more like a Macintosh look, you could go to actually a 3 quarter one inch like this. Um, this is quite a beefy bit, so you want to make sure that you do that in stages to avoid tear out. So that worked pretty good, no major tear out. So what we'll do is sand this with some 320 grit and give it some paint. Well, the first coat is done. We will let this tack for about 30 minutes and we'll give it a couple more shots. Two or three coats should be good. There we go, a matching set of transformer covers made out of wood. Turned out pretty good. I'll be lining the inside with this copper shielding tape. Um, this is similar to what you would use in guitars. Um, whether it works or not is yet to be seen, so I might want to do an AB on that. I'll put a link in the description below of this tape and the paint as well. And then here is the metal one that I completed. And I'll be mounting this one on the preamp build. Well, it's a fun little DIY project to add some extra spice to amplifier builds. I do realize you can buy these online in plastic or in metal, but when you get to the bigger ones, they get kind of pricey. So I feel that you could actually make them a lot cheaper. I made some bigger ones here with a half an inch round over, and you can see this was a 3 8 and that is a half an inch. And this is for an upcoming amplifier build that I'm working on. As I mentioned, I got a 300B that I'm working on. So please like and subscribe, and you could see these upcoming tube amp videos. Once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video video.